Okay, welcome back guys. So let's carry on with this. We're going to be working on the eye now. So but I would like to this outer eye I'm in this close. I would like to change the internal symmetry for now. I'd like to change the uh okay. Um, change the shader to PBR metal command shop with a fab in the mode so I can have some kind of glass material on top of this then we'll turn on opacity I would like to try something though I saw a tutorial online that with Wait, why is my subsurface scattering not? So that subsurface scattering in here. Why is my subsurface scattering layer not? SSS, why is it not being affected? Copy this. Great. No longer affecting. Maybe I should try and turn this on again. Why is there no SSS here? It's there, but why is it not working? Probably because of... Probably because of this shade I'm using. Where is the default? Okay, it only works on this metal rough. It only works on this metal rough. Uh, PBR metal rough. Um, I will need to get some glass materials on top of this. All right, so let's see. Uh, <clears throat> it's sad that we can have the two of them or kind of separate this out individually for each texture sets. Yeah, no worries. Let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just. Where is the only default? Okay, this is the default here. Okay, I guess we can't have surface subsurface cutting on this shader, but that's fine. But yeah, I said I wanted to try something. So in texture set, let me drop in the ambient occlusion. Let's see if the ambient occlusion actually does anything in here. Also, I forgot to run out stitches around the. I see some issues there. I need to push closer. I'll do that. I'll do that in ZBrush, but I need to add stitches around, around the arts. But before that, let me see. I want to. Um. Let's see this. Let's see if we add ambient occlusion. Let's see if that does anything. Nah, I don't, see, I don't see any major difference in there. There is no major difference in there. There's no major difference in there. I can't really see any drastic major difference in there at all. Nah, so it's not that useful. So, at least for this project, though, it's not that useful for this project. So, um, Add a new field layer. So we're already getting something in there. So we just need to increase the tone of height and normal. Increase the metallic. You can see now. 
and roughness increase this also make it quite reflective okay something pretty much like this should be fine wait a minute why is the inner eye not even showing oh my goodness where is the inner eye my goodness is that hidden somewhere i can't even find yeah we need to fix we need to fix that inner eyes i'm not sure it's even in the right place fantastic that is just great it's not even it's not even in the right spot where it should be that is just great let me let me turn on bring back let's open the zbrush file let's see let's see okay uh it's not even in here i did not bring the outer put the outer eye in here okay I guess we just have to adjust this in here instead. Now that's silly of me not silly of me not to have this <clears throat> in the right place. Let's see how. Um, let me give it a normal regular blink material first. Oh crap, this is massive. Great, silly mistake I made without having this adjusted before. Oh crap. This is this is massive. This is massive. I need to delete one half. Let's focus on this alone. Though we're not doing anything extremely complicated, we just need to. Just need to scale the eye in place. Okay, then we need to do some tests also on this just to figure out size for this uh, um we need to plug a texture in here hmm. let me plug a text <coughs> texture in here Um, let's see. Turn on textured. Okay. 
ओके साइज ऑफ दिस आई स्केल इट आउट समेल इट आउट सम Yeah, that seems a bit too wide. Scale this down. Okay, I think this should. <clears throat> I think this should work. Yeah, I think this should be around about right about the size for this. Do a quick save. <clears throat> Then let's mirror this to the other side. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so this is roughly there. Okay, this is roughly there. This should work. So let's give it the inner eye shade. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Let's bring this. Back out and make sure is not they are not intercepting. All right. Maybe while I'm here also, I should just should just adjust this hat. Oh wait a minute. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Let me be sure I'm on the right. Is this is this sits. Just trying to make sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Trying to make sure if this is the, if if I updated the UVs for this hat. So I would isolate this. Now use the move to need to kind of make sure we close and kind of close up that hole. Okay. Yeah, I think you should be fine. Okay. Let's just pull this out. Okay, should probably add this. We put the new one in here. Mm. 
great forgot to turn on great forgot to turn turn off group for exporting this Explore turn on group turn on smooth Spot this again replace um okay yes are you with a where there should be I closed up that hole also um should be the hearts think everything is in place now can select all of this export selection fbx please come back in here and then update this Just give let me come back when this is done though. No, no, okay. It didn't take it didn't take that it didn't take that long. The eye is in place now. Except for something doesn't feel right though. There's no normal map for ah uh, crap. It didn't even beat normal map for the inner eye. So let's let's grab let's grab the normal map for this drag this in here okay let's grab these two put them in here so I'll be providing the textures if you are purchasing this tutorial for providing the textures to use so let's drag this in here for the inner eye. Okay. All right. Um. So we just need to do a quick bake for this now. Baking the inner eye. Uh. Self safe name. Apply to all. I'm not making no, no more map. I already have no more map in here, so let's do a quick bit. All right. I believe this one is closed now. As you can see there's no opening around it anymore it is fine all right so we put this to the side the outer eye you still have the glass material in there okay yeah, yeah, it's still in there glass material is still in there but we won't be needing it anymore so Except, you know, let's just go back. Let's come in here and then work on the eye. I we'll spent too much time doing something else, fixing things. So, ideally, I would like this to have a this character to have a blue eye to him. Should have a blue eye to him. Okay. You just there's some irregularities to it that we need to that we need to fix, but 
So for the most part, I think the size of the is it called of the iris rather or the iris is almost fairly enough. Let's just let's just isolate this and then do a bit more work in there. Probably need to take down this reflectivity. We don't need reflections and sharp reflections on it. We need to soften some of this out. Well, it is that once we are soft, we scatter into the eye. It's going to soften most of these edges out. So that shouldn't be so much of an issue. The little, little mini is that I need some blend. I need this to be more of blue eye, more of a blue eye shade down in here. This will be a blue eye. So I already have some reference for this, but there's some corrections we need to do. So in some corrections we need to do, and something I need to add on top of this. So I'm going to drag this. This is the eye I use. Oh, maybe just maybe I can <clears throat> I can even help myself a bit more in here, and even sorting out most of this edge. Consulting out most of this edge. So how should how would I do that? I would. Um, I'm just showing you guys this process so you can easily make the same corrections to it if you feel like I think the spot alien brush should be it. But first, I will need to. To draw on the lips around this, so the move to what's going on? Great, we move to what's. Just kind of center this around there like so. Then I would control J on this, duplicate this. So we have this around it. Then for this, I'm going to duplicate this, drag this on top of this, control click on this. Then invert the selection control shifts. Hmm? Is it control alt i or what? How do I invert this? Select invert invert invert. Okay, control shift i. So invert the selection. Then I believe I can use the spot limb brush. Ish. Ish. Probably use the clone stamping instead. Give me the clone stamping instead. So, our old out, pick the color in here and just use it to paint around the braids. I went so far, so paint around this old out, paint, old out, click out, paint, old out, click out, paint. Hold out, click out, paint. Just to clean all of this out. I'm going to test it out in side of substance painter to see. Okay. I did not spend that. Alright. 
con control D to deselect. So what I'm going to do is to duplicate this piece here. Duplicate this control J. Put this on top. Then I would convert it to smart material and I'm going to blow this out. Right, the blow. And do that. Not Gaussian blow for this instead. Click OK. I will just slightly expand this. Slightly expand this like so. Okay. And I'll add the black, add the layer, still black, add the layer marks to it rather. Fill the layer mark with black. And with my brush, this is a soft brush for this. Okay, it's a soft brush already. Hit X to put this to a color of white. And to just blow up the edge, gently blow up the edge. I don't want sharp edge to this. This edge that is soft, softer edge. Okay. All right. Yeah, this will work. So. Um, let me let me let's save this. So let's do a quick save. I will just name this to new. Let me name this to yes. Save it as no PNG should be better. Save it as PNG file. Save. Then I'm going to import this to Zoptans Painter and then see see how that looks. Let's turn off the eye ball for now, the color of the eye for now. So let's drag and drop this in here. So it should come in as a texture file. Let's move this and drag and drop this in there. Perfecto. Yeah, the little we need to do now is to let's let's turn this back on. Yeah, yeah. This feels a lot better now. Yeah, the little we need to do now is to just bake this again, just to bake this again. Just bake this again with the new normal map we have in there. Okay, yeah, this is fine. Uh, one more thing I would like to do is this texture I saw, so I want to kind of test this out. This texture in here for the eye, I would like to would like to test this out. So let me just drag and drop this into the eye texture file. Hit enter. So I'm just going to control. Click on the thumbnail of this so I know where exactly that should be. Great, it's moving alongside it. You know what? Let me just undo. Okay, let me undo that. Turn everything off. <clears throat> Then take down the opacity for this. Okay. Let me just scale this somewhat in like so. Hit enter. 
control click on this and i'm going to use it to subtract this out turn this up okay <clears throat> something like this except for um steps create a new layer and then fill this with black but it looks completely cut out on the edge though it's completely cut out on the edge um yeah duplicates duplicate this add this max max you know the blow filter to it click ok add a layer max to it fill that layer max with black go to the brush tool should be on white then let's fill out this edge we are using smaller brush size to it Then for this, um, the edge looks somewhat sharp. Let me add a layer marks to this. Put this on black. Probably reduce the opacity of the brush. completely hide the edge I'm basically just trying to experiment here it's kind of get some more details out of the eye all right I think this should work so I'll save this out as a PNG let me just name this to I veins I I veins okay we could save and let's bring this in here I veins so it should be as I'll bring this in as a texture file should also be saving my file also very important okay so let's let's play with this let's see the result this gives us um Start by creating a new fill layer and then turn off everything else apart from the height. Increase the height a bit more. Let me name this to I veins. Okay, then I would add a black marks to this and add a fill layer and just drag and drop this in here. Yeah, right off the bat, you can see something happening in there already. So we can increase this more. If you see something in there, let me even try something. Let me cancel this. <laughs> you can see how this is kind of breaks up the surface even more. Adding some more, adding some intricate vein detail on top of it. 
I'm going to add a le a levels now. Levels, 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 levels to this. Let me visualize the marks. Okay. Okay. Now Okay, let's see what we have. I'm trying to basically I'm trying to reduce the noise the noise around it. Mm. New inner eye. Just think maybe I can keep this so uh, remove it. Though the noise feels a bit too much. Looks a bit noisy. But definitely add some interesting texture to it. Maybe I can use that as it as it as a map for the color text for the color for color for the colors instead. You see, but let us carry let us carry on, let's carry on, let's carry on. So um I turn this back on. So I need to paint need to paint um need to paint some bluish tone around this. Okay, so I think I might just even leave this as it is then just paint. Can I paint the blue on top of this? Not too sure though. Let's see, I think I would like to on this eye I would like to add a white marks. Then probably eliminate eliminate yes perfect something like this something like this so i can also i can now easily paint the blue on top of this where i'm still keeping this dark rim around it and i'll paint my bluish eye on top of this so anything i do this i'm using i'm using the same uv texture so anything i do on one side directly affects the other side which is precisely what i want All right, so um, let's look for the blue eye. Uh, so yeah, let's see how I can use this as a use case. Mm. All right, so let's go on and paint. I think this. Yeah, I'm going to be using this. Okay. Um. Uh, let's create a new few layer. Um, okay, let me use a bluish, <clears throat> yeah, something like this, but slightly darker, like so. All uh, the black marks to it. I'm going to be using the dirt brush. Maybe, for now, maybe not yet. Probably not yet. I like to stamp this. Yeah, let me stamp this first thing here. But I don't want this to have okay, a ton of metallic for this. Crazy roughness, like so. All right, so I think this is where it gets interesting. So I'm going to duplicate this, give this a full black material, the black marks to this. 
take down the brush size so this will be like the center of the eye okay um let me rename this to dark center okay mm, yeah this, this should work this should work Okay, so it gets more interesting in here. You can see all these fiber details around it. Well, I think this, this comes in handy now. Mm. So let's paint a. Let me duplicate this. Add the black marks. Try to pick <clears throat> um, more like a darker, yeah. This tone, this, this should work. I guess. Okay. Let's use the death brush. Take down the brush size, put this around here. So I'm just going to consider this like more, more or less like a brighter shade on top of it. More of a brighter shade. I'll put this under this dark center instead so it just just be under it all right okay so now let's make this more interesting um okay so i will duplicate this are the black marks I'll select the brighter shade of this it's more more brighter shade to it and I'll add a few layer on this few layer I would use the eye vein eye vein eye veins so this would be like the max for it. Now you see. Can't really see that affecting it drastically. Let me duplicate this. Let's see, I'm looking for a drastic change. When I use red, I see this, okay? Okay. So this is a brighter. Add a, a levels to this. I think I need to brighten this up even more. Yeah, something a bit brighter. Much brighter, if you ask me. Okay, something somewhat like so. Okay, something like this. The only 
the same something similar but inverted yes i think i know what to use so uh let me name this to bright bright blue veins all right do a quick save for this file so now i can easily use the probably even the cover jump up i think cover jump up will work So now we need really dark blue, like very dark blue. So let's use this. Give this a very dark, almost black, something like so. And I will use a black mask, and I'm going to use the um. Let's add a generator to this. Uh, this is the coverture mapping here. So let's come down here, change this to cavity. Okay. You can see that you can see how it's all over the place, which is not what we want. And the color is you can see somewhat too dark. So I need to reduce. We also need to blow this out. <clears throat> blow this out. Let's check out the marks. Uh I think we need an inverse of this door. In fact, this need this inverted. Yeah, this is precisely what I want, but I need to remove it from this back parts. Let's remove from this back parts. So if I should turn this so you can see how it darkens. You can see how it darkens in between some of the crevices of the eye. You can see it's somewhere around here. You can see it gets a bit darker. Yeah, that's what I want, but let me put this in a group. Add the black marks to the group and let's use the default brush. No, we don't need to look, we don't even need to use the default brush. We just, we just need to we just need to paint this in here. Let me take down the process so we don't have them strolling out. Let's see the marks for this. Okay. So once we need to do is to let me see if it's yeah good. Once we need to do is to blow this out some more. No, I think I blow that out way too much. All right, so carrying on, let's see. I think we're, we're getting something in there now. Getting definitely getting something in there. This Ivy, probably I'm guessing I should add some. Let's see if we add a blow fil filter. Let's add a blow filter to this. Maybe the blow filter is way too much. 
So I think something like this should be fine. All right, getting somewhere. So now let's think. I would duplicate this. Add a add a black mark to this. Uh, okay. You know what? Let me just duplicate this. Just to get a brighter tone on top of this, like so. Now duplicate this again and all the black marks. I would select this bluish tone like so. And I'll just paint that paint that sparingly on some of these regions. Like so. Not all over the place though, but just in some of these areas. Pretty much like this should be fine. Okay. Now duplicate this again. Add the black marks. Let's get this brownish tone. Yeah, this. Okay, let me just visualize visualize this again. Yeah, from a distance, it already, it already looks. From a distance, it already looks quite interesting. Looks quite interesting from a distance. I don't know now if the eye if the iris is too small. It's a little bit too small. This is the perfect size. Not not entirely sure though. But this looks this looks like a perf a good size to work with actually. This is an AI, so some of these are slightly exaggerated, I think. I think this should be fine. Mm. But right off the bat, you can see how we're getting some interesting looking eye shaders in the eye shader in there, even without even without even completing the entire thing yet. Really getting something something quite interesting. I'm just trying to figure out the size. If I need to make it, if I need to make it slightly bigger than it is right now. Okay, let's try making it slightly bigger than it is right now. Let's see. So I'm just going to be using the. Basically, I'm going to add a darker outer rim to it. So I'm just going to um is it that Karim? I'll duplicate this but I'll push this down. It should just be on top of this all the black marks. But we need the soft soft brush for this so let's reduce the hardness yeah i think we need more let's put it in the center yeah i think we need to go all the way Way too much, obviously. So, we need to take reduce the size. Let's try 3.5. 3.5. Yeah, 3.5 looks like the lucky number. Except we need to. Um, 
add a filter, the blow filter to this. And reduce the overall darkness of it. Yeah, let's see how it looks now. Yeah, I think this should work. This looks like it should work. Yes, I think this is a better looking eye. Yeah, yeah, this is better. This is better. So now let's go back. Let's go back in there. Let's go back in there and keep working on this. So I think we have something interesting enough now. That eye actually helps a lot, kind of break up the surface even more and give us more interesting vein looking shade in there. Okay, except we need to soften it though. I think we need to add a blur filter to this. Let me hide this for now. That is blurred out way too much. Think we need to reduce the blur. Let's try, let's try one. Okay. Yeah, I think this should be fine. All those are the same. Can I can I drag this? Okay, let's see if we can duplicate this. Can I duplicate this? Nah, I can't. I can't. Problem is me. Can duplicate this. Yeah, no worries though. Let's just add another new filter to this blow filter I blow that out with some more so let's just use the same value zero points let's try one three <clears throat> something like it should be fine so <clears throat> back to the back to this okay Right, so I think we also need it. we also need some brighter tone. I'll duplicate this all the black marks to it. Let's make sure we're using our dead brush again. I think it should be like oh, like an almost white. I'm still going to add this brown stuff. Let's just see. Let's tackle some of this part around this that looks more whitish. Okay, let's go in and bring in this brown shade on top of everything. You can see it's peeking through. Let's start with let's start with the darker darker tone first. Okay. Probably need it. Probably need to spread this a bit more. Right. So, <clears throat> um, I think this one should be under. Where is that? This one should be under 
Is that really dark blue tone? Yeah, this is dark blue tone. This should be the brown one should be underneath it. If I place that underneath it, then we would have wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I'm doing something wrong somewhere. Yeah, this this dark one should be on top of everything. This one should be just supposed to be on top of everything. Just below this dark center dish. Nah, I guess not. Okay, let's get a duplicate instead. And put it under on top of this, then we would reduce this. Okay. And I'll duplicate this, drag this on top, drag this on top. I'll give this a more brighter tone to it. Add the black marks. Let me duplicate this. Let it turn this down. Then the brighter shade okay take down the opacity and the flow <clears throat> To spread this around some of these regions. Alright. I think this looks interesting enough. Yeah, this looks. This looks interesting enough. If it's safe, yeah, this should work. It should work. If there's any corrections to be made. I can always go back. I can always go back and correct that. But for the most part, this should work just fine. It'll work just fine. I think I have just established a new eye texture that I can be using for other projects too. Okay. Okay. Yeah, awesome. So, do a quick save. In the next lesson, I'm just going to finalize this by adding by adding stitches on the on the hearts. Then we can export and then move on to XGen. And if there's any need to come back in here again, that is no issues. You can always come back in here and then make some more corrections to make our texture look more interesting. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.